everybody and welcome to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today is Sunday and a week has just passed in our Animal Crossing town, but sadly I didn't do much. On March 31st, I went to Timmy and Tommy and they were buying turnips for 121 bells. So I decided to just go for it and sell them all. I know it wasn't like a crazy high number, but I was a little scared. Also, as it was the end of the month, there was a fish that was gonna go away for like the rest of the year. And I only had the last day to catch it. I wasn't too worried of not getting it. Cause you don't wanna do everything right away. It's Elmo Crossing, you, you're gonna be playing this for a good while. So if you don't catch things now, you always have later to do it. So at first I went to the teepee top of my town. I used all fish bait that I had. I didn't really want to craft anymore. So I was just planning on using whatever bait I had, all four pieces, and just try my luck. And yeah, it didn't really pan out. But then as I went down to the second layer of my island, I had this lake and there was a fish head on it and I decided to just go ahead and see what it was. And it was a string fish, so I got really lucky. With the money I got from selling turnips, I went Tom Nook, I paid off my loan and I have found myself yet again in debt. <laughs> I can't help it. But now we should have an extra room in our house. And that was all I did. <laughs> I only was able to play one day. Honestly guys, things are really tough right now. Because of the virus, uh, I had to work extra this week. And not only that, but there also have been changes in the workplace. I feel like every single day there are new rules and new ways of, you know, preventing the virus from spreading. Um, so we're not really allowed to move... Thank you, balloon. <laughs> That's so tempting. We're not really... We can't really switch workplaces anymore because before we we would because if you do the same thing over and over again you just get really really tired and that's when occupational diseases start to appear we're not really allowed to do that anymore i have to stay in the same place throughout the entire week doing the exact same movements over and over again it makes you even more tired you know so i wasn't really able to play throughout the rest of the week which is a shame because a lot happened this week, a new event started. And this is why I am not playing on Sunday. <laughs> oh my god, cute! It, it is April 1st, but don't tell the game that it is a lie, please. <laughs> I'm just trying to make up for it. Since I didn't really play anything any other day, I've been playing on my main island, but I, I don't have time to play on both. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Megan, hello. So happy to see you Sunday. Let's talk. When I'm really busy with chores, all I can think about is how I, I'd much rather be building models. But if I make time for that, I feel guilty for neglecting my chores. Oh, sweetie. There's a little book over here. It's a lost item. I should probably try to reunite this with its owner. Is it yours, Megan? Let's see. It is! <laughs> Did she just drop it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you for returning this and I have something for you. Really? It's a shirt. A marble print dress. Wait, what? I hope that's something you can use. Wait, wait what's happening? Hold up a second. <laughs> Smile aisle. Good deeds are their own rewards, but go ahead and have some Nook Miles to fulfilling requests from other island residents. Oh, nice! I did something. I can see him. Do you guys see him? Do you see that fella? <laughs> that haunts my dreams? He's here? Hi! Why, hippity skippity hoppity who? Now that you found me, I'll say a warm hello! Hello, Zipper. I time travel back just for you. I'm a lucky old bunny, yippity yipper. And here's a little tip. You can call me Zipper. Yay. You can clap now. 
No, really, go on. Well, well, isn't this well? Here you are, and here I am to tell you all about my favorite holiday. That has been a true, true nightmare. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a costume, and don't you go snooping, got it? <laughs> okay, pal, calm down. Zippity zap enough of that. It's almost funny day. Hop, hop, hooray. That's my favorite time to come out and play. I see a balloon. Oh, I got so much prep work to do. I hope you can keep yourself busy. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> And guess what? This funny bunny has a bunny day secret just for you. Ready? Yes. Yippity skippity, here it is. The time has come. Let's look for eggs. That's my bunny plan. They're here, they're here, they're everywhere. Find them if you can. As if I'm gonna have any trouble finding them. Did I make myself clear? Yes, no, maybe so? Hmm, how about this? There are six types of eggs hidden around the island, you see? So wonderful old you should go look for them and then bring them back to wonderful old me. These eggs are hidden inside buildings, no siree. My eggs can only be found in the great outdoors. Check the trees, check the rocks, check the water too. Search the sky, search for the ground, that's what you should do. And here's a little something I made for you too. Oh, thanks. That's a recipe for a bunny day bed. You can craft it with the eggs you find. And now a big announcement. I sure hope you like this. I've hidden bunny day team DIY recipes all around the island. <laughs> Zipper has kept yourself busy. We're gonna be finding eggs all over the place to the point that it's gonna become unbearable. Like this holiday's being a nightmare to everyone. <laughs> Oh, Zipper, the closer we get to Bunny Day, the more recipes I'll hide. Oh, fun! If you find and craft all the DIY recipes I've hidden, why, you'll tell you'll get a super D dupery present from me. It's not that super, let me tell you that much. <laughs> Somebody skibbity hoppity hey, it's gonna be wonderful. It's going to be the wonderfully, wonderfulest Bunny Day. Okay, so Bunny Day is on the 12th of April. I'm pretty sure. Zucker, you're working out? Why? Hi, it's me, Zucker, I know. I overslept a little today, but that's cool. I gave the bugs in my house some extra quiet time. Look at Blue Bear. Every single morning she's here. Staying trendy, Peach? A shout. I see someone in the background. Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around the Bay Berry Shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Bear Cub. Oh my gosh. We have a new character here. Hello. Sir? Sorry? <laughs> I'm armed? Just for today. Oh, hi. Do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm kind of a bug buff, an insect enthusiast, an arthropod artist. I love all bugs and their appendages. Well, I hate all bugs and their appendages. <laughs> I've been traveling across all the islands looking for my soul bug, the perfect inspiration for my arts. I must capture every wiggly leg, each joint to the antenna. We're so lucky to live in their world. Oh, no, no, no. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my shittiness kindred. Kindred, kindred, and that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're uh, interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commissions are open. Oh, flick. You, you got to sell for business. Oh, I have bugs. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to trick you. He's gonna leave at 5 a.m. this morning. He actually came to my other islands. And CJ also came. So if you have Flick in your town, you should totally sell the bugs you find to him because it pays like, it pays a lot more than what Timmy and Tommy do. Come on, balloon, come on. <laughs> okay, thank you, we found our first egg. Did I catch it? I don't, let me see this dress that Megan gave me. It's, ooh. Interesting, okay. The thing with zipper is that we're gonna have to find eggs and they can be anywhere. They can be in the trees, they can be on the ground, they can be in the sea like this, this fish right here. It could very well be an egg. 
we just don't know. Zipper has completely filled up our islands with eggs and now we're living in a nightmare that we cannot escape. Oh, it's a squid. Wow, it's an egg. What a surprise. What should I do with it? <laughs> well, don't worry, there are plenty more to be found. Could this be a fossil or an egg? Let's go see. It's a fossil, wow. Just let me make my jokes. <laughs> hey, Dom, what is it? You hear that? There's some kind of scary rustling sound coming from behind you. Uh, that was just some paper stuck to you. Uh, wow, uh, I guess my reactions are on the overdrive. I just want to teach you how to show everyone the stress. Oh, quit staring, I'm serious. Wow, an essential reaction from Dom. Now oh, that's something I do in real life. Oh my gosh, look at them talking. What are you guys talking about? Blue bear, guess what? Last night I dreamed that I had a new facet in my kitchen. When I turned it on, bubble tea came out instead of water. Wow, freaky. For reals though. I think that'd be pretty wild, Peach. I'm just remembering now that I dreamed I had a hot fudge faucet the night before last. Do you think something's wrong with me? <laughs> nah, I like how your brain works when you're zonked out. <laughs> you could have friends over and be all like, so anyway, who wants a hot fudge sundae? Hmm. I'm going to get one of those for myself when I'm rich and famous. <laughs> when you put it like that, I guess these are sweet dreams I'm having. Maybe tonight I'll try to dream up a whipped cream faucet for topping off those Sundays. I mean, this is going to be a very sweet, sweet steam town, so... My villagers are very much in team with the town. <laughs> they came here for a reason. <gasps> Hello, what do we have here? Oh, see the problem with not playing throughout the week is that I couldn't really organize my inventory. A festive bunny day festive balloons. Our first DIY recipe. And we have another one over here, but this one is just a regular one. To someone on an island out there, I found this DIY recipe written in my dream journal this morning. I do remember writing it down. I didn't want to waste a good idea, so now I'm sharing this with you. It'd make me happy if you use it. Gladys, a bamboo floor lamp. Okay, we don't know this one yet. Awesome. I These glasses. In New Leaf, they look really cute. But here in this game, they live up to their name. Which is funny glasses. They are funny looking. <laughs> they nailed it. There doesn't appear... Oh, we have another gold spot over here. Are you serious? It's going to be our second money tree on this little area. Is this an egg? It is! Wonderful. So we can find them from balloons. We can find them on the ground. Let me see if I can find an egg tree. Here, here we go. Oh, there's a balloon. You never know what it could be. She's gotta shoot them all down. Calm down. Don't go into the sea. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, here's something that I'm gonna have to do, guys, and I'm not looking forward to. You see all these weeds? I'm gonna have to sell them. Because I found out on my other island that if we don't get rid of the weeds, uh, we can't get our rating up. And in order for us to be able to terraform the island and, you know, build it the way we want to, and kind of like finish the game, uh, our rating needs to be at least three stars so that KK Slather can come to our island and perform and... Then we unlock everything. Then we can do whatever we want to our islands. Uh, but until then, we can't. And it's like our path is blocked by weeds. I gotta sell them. Even though I didn't really want to. It's fine for this island, you know, even though I wanted it to look a bit overgrown, it's fine. In my other island though, which I was trying to make things look a little bit more natural, that's, that hurt me there. <laughs> But here, it's not a big deal, really. Oh gosh, I, I need to organize my inventory. I found so many tires while fishing. Does not make any sense? I'm gonna go in. I didn't even read my mail. My head. I am so sorry. <laughs> Let me go put a few things in storage. We also have any room? Can I go check it out? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, come here. Okay, that worked. Look at all this free space. 
Wonderful. <laughs> Put it in storage. Let me... Oh, it's pretty. Oh my gosh. Where did I get this wallpaper from? It's gorgeous. Okay, anyways, I'm out. <laughs> Let's go check our mail. Ooh, something from the Happy Home Academy. Thank you. No kink. We completed the inspection the expansion of your lovely home all ever during this during construction we had to place one or more wall hanging items in your storage i didn't even notice tom it's completely fine it was probably the hats that i had on the wall tammy all right claudia i just heard about the new room congrats you wouldn't happen to need a roommate would you ha <laughs> just kidding maybe anyway i got you a little room warming gift it ain't much but i think you'll dig it Tammy, thank you. Let's go see. So this is from the Apium Academy. We got a writing chair. And from Tammy, we got some book stands. Wait. Oh, this is gonna be good for the core. Hmm, it's cute. Okay, thank you. Okay, can I go, please? <laughs> I have so much to do today. Okay, so... <gasps> We got a new hybrid! We got some purple pansies! So pretty! So if we put the blues next to these red slash orangey pansies, we get the purple. Oh my gosh. And apparently if we have the blues and pinks together, we get a white. At least that's what it's looking like. Oh, I missed it. If you guys see any, like, petals fluttering by, look at Megan! If you see any cherry blossom petals, you can actually catch them with your nets. Oh, man! Oh, dude, look, it's Beatrice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Boom! This cherry blossom petal is so lovely. Pink is really its color. So, we have two events going on at the same time. Which is a little nerve-wracking, honestly. There is just so much to do and to craft. And it really feels like your time is gonna run out at some point. Who's moving? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold up, there can only be one cloudy on this island. <laughs> Miss, you're gonna have to move out. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I just found out someone who has the same name as me is moving on to my islands. Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, Bayberry. Oh, Pietro. Alright, you got my attention, what's up? Let's chat. Well, you could probably climb the, to the very top with that thing, huh? Imagine the view from the peak, rubbing elbows with celebrities eating the finest Tom Young Kong. That's one of those social climbing ladders, right? No. It appears that smug villagers are like into being famous. It's kind of weird. I get it. I can't believe Claudia is moving into my town. I never had it as, as a villager. I didn't know of her because she has the same name as me, but I never had her in, as one of my villagers. Huh. It's gonna be interesting. Hello? Boo is out on a snack run. Hold up. No one's at the campsite today. Where is my boy Boo? Could this be an egg? It is. It is indeed. I think we found the mall at this point. So we have the earth eggs. We have the sky eggs that we got from the balloons. We have the leaf eggs. We have the water eggs. We're just missing the tree eggs that we got from the trees. And apparently they appear more frequently if you hit coconut trees. At least that's what Lily told me in my other islands. Still haven't tried it, but honestly I don't have any trouble finding eggs. They're everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Where's Boo? I wanted to say hi before I... I skipped to the current day that it is today. Oh, we got another balloon. And also, apparently the color of the balloon tells you what thing you're gonna get from the um, 
the presents. So if it is red, it is a DIY recipe. If it is yellow, it's money. If it is blue, I don't know what we get. Is it clothes? No, it's crafting resources. Okay. I don't mind gold nugget. <laughs> Let me go ahead and harvest this money tree and I think I might cancel this bridge construction. Because I, I went into Photoshop to see if I could, you know, to start laying out how I want my island to look like eventually. And I have an idea for this area and I don't think the bridge is gonna work. So I might have to cancel it. Luckily, I didn't really donate any money. At least I don't think I did. Uh-huh. Oh, that's actually really nice. People are donating. Yeah, I didn't donate a single time. I do hope the money goes back to the people who helped out and that they do help the future projects. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I'm so sorry. Like, on my other island, I'm having, like, such a nightmare. Because, you know, you try to place houses, like, where do you think it's gonna look nice and where do you think you want them to be later on but then you start planning and you figure out that you want to change everything and you know this house could be a little bit more to to the right or to the left and then before you know it you have to move the house twice to have it exactly where you want it to be also these are some new bugs from this month a blue bottle I'll put it in a rare green jar. Oh, come on. We got more eggs over here. Oh, we also got a, another hybrid over here. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> this one is really tough to catch. You need to, like, kind of time it. I caught a darner dragonfly. It better watch his mouth. I don't really like dragonflies either. Like in Portuguese, they have their name, but my mom used to call them Tiro Olhos, which translates to like eye takers. <laughs> and when I was little, I believe that they had the name for a reason that they actually would take off your eyes. Because when they fly and they are coming your way, it looks like they are lunging towards your eyeballs. Oh, here's another one, lovely. <laughs> Let me go inside the building, see what's going on in here. Oh, Tom was waiting for me. Your home now has another room. Oh yes, I know. I know, Tom. Yeah, that's gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh-huh. Awesome. So, let, let me talk to Tom. We're on the last part of Project K, the grand plan to all the KK concert on this island. If we can raise the image of this island and get some excellent word of mouth PR, then I'll make a proposal to KK about holding a concert here. If you need help on improving the island image, chat with Isabel. You want her to start getting ready? Okay. Let's see what our score is at the moment. Is it still a one star? Yeah. Okay, use some fencing. Okay, Isabel. I'll take your feedback into consideration. Let me just go use this and see what we have here. Actually, I'm gonna invite a camper. I don't even know how many villagers I have currently in my town, but... Okay, where is the villager that I'm looking for? Here it is. Okay. Yes, let's do it. I'm not gonna take it out of the <laughs> little look that I have it on. So, oh, the touch point is in the center. I don't want to take it out of the thing. Come on, read it. Read it. <laughs> no. Oh, fine. It's here. Okay, that's meringue. Thank you. I am going to want her eventually on my town. And I did hear that it is hard for villagers to move into, into your island from Evo. They have to come a couple of times until they finally say yes. So we can get started. Look at this girl. Yes, this is Meringue. What do you need, shortcake? Getting to stay at the campsite on Bayberry sounds so fun. But it might take me a while to find my camping gear, shortcake. Don't worry, take your time. I'm gonna be needing to remove all the weeds from this island. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh boy. How many villagers do I have on my island currently? 
With Claudia, I'm gonna have gonna have eight. I can build another plot, but that would mean I, if I want to feel like I have a choice in the villager that that it moves in, I'm gonna have to go on towards. And I don't know if I want to go on towards. Yeah, maybe I won't build it for now. Oh, let me go talk to Zipper. Hippity hoo! What do you know? Bunny day is April twelfth. I promise to bounce right on back to this island on that wonderful, wonderful day. In the meantime, Skipper, don't tell anyone you're running to old Zipper. It will be a funny bunny surprise. I feel like people see you, Zipper. You're just jumping all over the island. Do you see how he turns around whenever <laughs> you approach him? It's like he doesn't want us to look into his back. In fact, that he has a zipper on it. Hmm. By the way, what's for sale today here? Even though my inventory is completely full. Oh! <gasps> Another bear. <laughs> Is this the papa bear? Oh, it's another mama panda, but it is different. Oh, because the one that I have is a bear and this one is a panda. I don't think I have inventory space. Yeah. Do I have anything to sell? Not really. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna end this day. There's just so much to do every single day. Okay, let me drop. Don't take them. Zipper, just let him be. Okay, I'm gonna buy. I might buy some more red yasos. Oh, look at this little wallpaper. So cute. Now I think I'm done. Okay, let's go check out campsite then. And get the last egg that I forgot to get. They're literally everywhere. <laughs> Let me see. Where do we have a rock? Here's one, but it's surrounded by flowers, so I don't want to hit that one. Let's go hit these ones. Okay, so this one should give us some eggs. If I don't find any eggs... <laughs> oh, okay, we found one. See? They're literally everywhere. And we got two more. I'll take them. Oh, where's Tammy? She sent me a letter, and I still haven't seen her. She's crafting. Hi. What you doing? What am I doing? Okay, Tammy. You got a little crazy when you craft, you know that. An item work table. Wait. That's new. You want to give it a world? Make an item work table, I mean, you heard. I can show you. Definitely. Okay. It's just a table. I don't think we're gonna be able to craft with it. Oh my gosh, look at this wall. What? Bamboo floor lamp. Outdoor picnic set. Isabel gave me this today. When she was doing the morning announcements. This is the bunny day bed. And these are the balloons. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna leave the removing the weeds for like off camera. Just because it's not entertaining to watch now that I think about it. Yeah, it isn't. Okay, let's go take a look. Oh my gosh. Hello. I'm so glad you invited me here. I jumped on the first flight I could get to the silent shortcake. I always realize after I get away like this that it's good to take some time alone to just think shortcake. Oh, I didn't mean that to sound like I don't like being social. I'm really grateful to have friends talk to you. It'd be great to take home a log sofa that was made here. Anyway, it's just an idea I had. I can do that for you. Wow, you do that for me? Thank you so, so much. Oh, I happen to have a DIY recipe for making those if you need it. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me go take a look. It is new. Awesome. Well, that sure isn't gonna confuse me. <laughs> oh, that's a new butterfly and it's gorgeous. Look at it. It's a Raja broke bird wing. Nothing else I'd rather be doing. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the video here. I'm gonna pick up the weeds, not the ones on the beach, but the ones over here on the grass. Gonna be picking all of them. And then I'm gonna time travel to the correct time. 
bells. I would really like some more Sakura recipes, but I can't seem to find them. Oh, wait! The old one gave me a recipe. Then what I read on the balloons was false. Look at this. It's so pretty. Okay, let's go make the hardwood sofa. I'm gonna have to hit up a few trees. Okay, we can make it. Oh shoot, my pockets are full. Oh, let me go drop the softwood. And I think, actually, no, I still can't put all the money away. Shame. Let's go take this to Morang. I did make you the sofa. Here you go, Morang. I love the idea of bringing home a log sofa made from here. You're the best. I'm so excited. As a thanks, I want you to have a wall-mounted phone. Okay. I can't take any more home now, but I do want to collect more Bayberry souvenirs. I'll be leaving tomorrow, but I feel like I'm falling in love with this place and folks that live here. In case you ever feel the urge to invite me to the camp here again, this is me encouraging you. Why don't you stay? I really hope someday I can live on an island this nice. Wanna live here? That's so sweet of you to invite me, but I'm just not sure I'm ready to make a big move like that just yet. Another visit might convince me if somewhere, if someone were to invite me back. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> She really wants to come back. I'm thinking about selling all the weeds that I picked up. I'm thinking about selling... And here I thought I was done. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about this area. There's so many. Okay, now I think we're all done with the weeds. This is the result. Yeah. Okay, I should actually pick them up before I go talk to Isabel. But let's just see how much this improved our rating. If anything at all. Oh, she's cleaning her desk. I'm just a little curious about my evaluation. Still one star. Increasing the population. Yeah. We only have seven at the moment. But at least the weeds have all been picked. So the next thing to take care of is having some villagers move in, placing a lot of furniture outside, and collect any of these items that are on the ground, because they can't be like this. This will lower your rating. But I'm gonna go ahead and save the game and go back to the current day now. Oh boy. It's 3 a.m. Look at our completely deserted island. <laughs> Nobody lives on this island. Who's gonna do the announcement at 3 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> oh, Isabel, I'm so sorry. Good evening. I'm here with a late night broadcast. I hope I can make it through this. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Earlier today, a clamp of bamboo caught my eye and reminded me of a piece of horticultural trivia. Did you know that this time of year is perfect for harvesting fresh bamboo or young spring bamboo? Which also reminds me to remind you to get crafting and enjoy some of this season's DIY project. I wonder what we're gonna get up to at <laughs> this late hour of the night. Are you sleeping? Okay. In workout recovery mode. Okay, Dom. Oh, totally asleep. Is anyone gonna be awake? I have work tomorrow, I'm not gonna be able to play again. <laughs> this is the only time you can catch me. Tammy? I'm sleeping, okay. What about Megan? Nope. Do you guys think... Yeah. The other Claudia's moved in. And she's sleeping. Oh gosh, I missed the weed. 
<laughs> Pietro surely is awake at night. That's when the clowns thrive. Please don't bother me, I need my beauty sleep, Pietro. No. Oh. I didn't even see Boo the other day. I hear some balloons though. Funny they wall. Okay, this is new. So what I'm I think I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go and travel to my other island because I have a few things that I want to give to this character over here. And maybe I can show you guys around there. Because that's the islands that I'm playing the most on. And I kind of want to show you guys what I've been up to. So let's go to the airport. Okay, so... I want to fly. I want to visit someone. And I still need to go to the airport on my other island. We're gonna be doing some multitasking. It's cool. I also like how Lily is awake on my other island. There's still people wandering around. It's like they know my sleeping schedule. They know I'm a night owl. So I want to head to a nearby island. I also recently found out that in order for you to scan in QR codes, you need a Nintendo Switch Online membership, which is crazy. <laughs> Imagine you made a QR code in the previous game and you want to use it in this game. You have to pay. I don't think that's fair. Okay, you got it. I'll turn off the internet connection. Roger that. Looks like we got a flight for Lilypad right now. That's where you want it to go? Yes. Oh my goodness. We're here. Oh goodness. <laughs> okay, so I don't actually have a whole lot going on here on this island. I'm a bit more I am a bit more advanced than I am on Bayberry, that's for sure. Cause I do tend to play it every day. I try to make time for it. Um also the music at 3 a.m. It's hilarious. It actually shows the map, so I'm currently doing a lot of things. I'm moving a lot of things around because they're not in the right place. That little island that is in shape of a circle, that's where I want to place my campsite. We also have like a little star-shaped island. That's where my house is going to be, but I'm gonna move it out because I need to move it further back and I couldn't do it. That's gonna cost a little extra. <laughs> A little more than what you would initially pay for. But yeah, here in Lilypad, the beaches are very similar to the ones on Bayberry. I have finally started working a little bit on the paths, but I'm still a little bit unsure on a lot of things. I place these stalls over here. And these are like trading stalls. If there's anything that I don't want, people can come over here and pick up... A and take whatever they want with them. So this is what this is here for. And I wonder if my character knows any of these recipes. That's why they're here. I'm gonna pick them up and see if I know any of them. The wooden simple bed. I know that one. So I'm gonna have to sell this. Let's see this one. I didn't know it. Awesome. I also have some bunny day florin, a garden wagon. Oh yeah, I brought this to myself actually. Because I already know this recipe. And we have the bunny day wardrobe. Awesome. Now over here, I've set out a CD for Cafe KK. I feel like it will be a good suit for my other island. Since I'm going with a sweet steam, I also have here some red heart patterned wallpaper. And I have two floorings over here that I bought without knowing I already had it. Um, so, you know. Uh, but this is how the island 
looks like so far. We have an entrance to the beach over here. And the weeds are really growing now. I didn't think they would grow here on the sand, but they are growing. I don't know if it is because I removed all the other weeds from the rest of the town. I only left these pretty ones, because come on. Cut me some slack, those are pretty. But maybe because there's fewer weeds, like the, the ones that are living on the island feel the need to survive and keep growing and spreading. And I'm working on a path that leads exactly to the resident services building um the museum i'm planning on putting it on the top center of the map just like i'm planning on doing on bayberry now let me see if i can find any villagers i saw lily but i don't know if she's still out and about and i also unlocked the able sisters on this island so i have igly and cat these two were my Two starting villagers. I really like both, actually. Then over here we have Yug, uh, which is a lazy pig. Here we have Sprinkle. And up here we have Lily. I played not long ago. I wonder how the sky is looking like. Because I was making wishes to see if I could get some star fragments, like, for the first time, because I still haven't done it. Lily's still awake. See? That's why she's my favorite. Hello. Hi there, nice to meet you. My name's Lily. I haven't seen you around, so I'm guessing you're here visiting. Toddy, that's great. Your name's Claudia. I hope I pronounced that right. Now you've got at least one friend from Lilypad. She's so cute. And here I have marina which i stumbled on a mystery island tour and i, I am so happy to have her here because on this island i want to have like a ton of ponds and just a lot of water so she's perfect here i have audi which is a new wolf i got her here on this island and i have lyman right over here and then up here i have diana yeah i might need to move her house again <laughs> because of this stupid bath. Oh. The amount of bells I'm gonna have to spend to make this island look good. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, and I'm forgetting Kid. Which is a smug villager that I have on my island. We have Pietro in Bayberry. Here I have Kid. Yep. I wonder if I can look at the map, probably not. Oh, I can! Awesome! Yeah, these are all my villagers. Cat, Ikli, Lily, Yug, Sprinkle, Marina, Diana, Lyman, Audi, and Kid. That's awesome! Okay, let's go. I wonder if I can go inside my house. We have a ton of crap outside. And I'm planning to build a bridge over here. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> the mess. Everything's super cute and pastel-y. It looked nice when the house was small, but now the house is expanding. I haven't really been working a whole lot on it. And we have someone visiting. I think it's Renee. I'm trying to make her move onto my island. Because she is my second favorite villager. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm not always cool with camping, but once in a while it's awesome. There's just too many amazing experiences to be had when you're out in the world, yo yo yo. What's up? You here on vacation too? I just can't get enough of the air here. It is so fresh. I'm seriously thinking about setting roots here. Yes, Renee, please come to say. But yeah, this is my island so far. I've been working more like on the entrance part of the island. And this is where I need the ready essence that I brought over. I'll just place them right here. Okay, so our tour of Lilypad has come to an end. There's really not a whole lot to show. I'm also running out of battery on my other switch. So it's probably a good time to go home. And call it a day. I wanna go home, Orville. It's interesting how you're in both places at the same time. I'm thinking about selling all the weeds that I picked up. And then if I want more, I can just go on island tours and get it that way. Oh, also, what's happening? Oh, the fishing tourney. 
my gosh, if I'm lucky, I'm not gonna have to work on Saturday, but who knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to try harder this next week to record. At least now I know what to expect when it comes to work and my schedule. And if I plan things out a little bit better, maybe, maybe I can do some more. Here's to hoping. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.